Hi guys and welcome back to the Stretching Samurai. My name is Patrick Ravel. Today I would like to give you a quick preview of what's coming up ahead in 2016. We're going to use green screen technology to use our videos more efficiently and show you a better time while you're watching these videos. So for today, a little preview of what I've done seven years ago. I have collaborated with over a dozen videos with Watch Mojo, which is a big YouTube channel, over 10 million subscribers. So please subscribe to the Stretching Samurai. We are part of Watch Mojo a long time ago. So here is a little video I shot with them at New Balance Montreal seven years ago. Enjoy guys and I'll see you next time. What are the features of a good runner? Let's check it out. We got our New Balance 1222 right here. First thing is the sole. Now what do you want in a runner? It's got to be flexible. It's got to run with you. Now New Balance has a stability web to prevent it from over flexing. The second part is the end lock system. It creates an end like this. It's very simple. You got the inner layer and the outer layer of the shoe. The lace goes in between. As you're pulling up the lace, the end lock covers the whole feet and locks the feet into the shoe. Another feature is the Absorb SBS. It's a gel cushion right here. You see, when you're running, it's important not to lose the energy. The gel will prevent from smooshing down into a very small pancake. Basically, it will stay very still and will redirect the energy to the foot, preventing you from losing energy. The first shoe we're going to focus on is the 1222. Now, the 1222 has a very interesting feature. It corrects deviation. You'll see a lot of people walking with knees that go buckling in. When the knees go buckling in, the shoes wear out from the inside and basically they wear out faster. These shoes were made to compensate for this deviation, therefore prolonging the life of the shoe. 